Today, we, as I said, we have a pretty full agenda, so uh, it, was, it was fine enough of the city of Anchorage to loan us their mayor, who is also going to be our senator here in a month and a day, right? January 6th? So, so uh, please welcome Mr. Begich, uh, Senator-elect, or uh, mayor of Anchorage, or maybe just Mark. So, Mark? Um, Thank you very much, and uh, you know, it's, there's also about 10 Republicans that are a little confused back there, too, and so we want to make sure it's bipartisan in our efforts, uh, and that's a guarantee. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you for the opportunity to just say a couple quick words. Uh, one, I want to thank Juno. I'm, I was in Fairbanks yesterday, today I'm in Juno for most of the day, uh, but Juno was a, a great turnout for us in the election. But uh, someone asked me, does that mean once we got the vote, then you'll never come back? And I said, absolutely not. You'll see me more than you probably want to because, as you mentioned, the 20 senators or whoever they might be, it's not just about ANWR. It's about the marine highway system that should be part of the transportation bill, not just a sidebar to it. It's about the intertie system down here that needs to be installed so you have redundant power. What my goal is going to be is very different. Uh, I want to bring senators up here not just about ANWR, but about Alaska and what we have to offer and what we have and unique circumstances. I mean, Southeast has very unique circumstances. Very rarely probably did you see a U.S. Senator down here from outside of Alaska. And it's important that they understand when we're talking about a transportation bill, how we explain the marine highway system. There's a reason it has highway in there, uh, and it's part of the system. But you're going to see me uh, very active, uh, very proactive. Uh, we will, uh, in the next week here, I'll be in Washington, D.C., back there talking to leadership about committee assignments, staffing, and what we're going to do in a sense of uh, how our offices will be set up. January 6th, we'll be swearing in. As introduced, I have multiple titles right now, uh, which is somewhat cumbersome. I'm closing out the mayor's office, getting a transition report together. There'll be an acting mayor in Anchorage for about three months, elections in April. But in the meantime, we will be setting up uh, communication back to communities. Someone just asked me, matter of fact, from the delegation office, they said, how do people get hold of you? And I said, the simplest thing right now is go to our website, which is baggage.com. We've revised the website so people can access it with issues, resumes, which we have hundreds of resumes in less than two weeks. Uh, there are very few jobs. But um, the other is uh, when folks do want to meet with me in the meantime, uh, you can feel free to do call the mayor's office. They will then transfer you to our uh, transition group and get you there if you have some issues. But be patient while we set up the offices. Uh, we'll need a little time to get situated. There's no question the day after swearing in, there's gonna, we're going to get busy on a stimulus bill. The goal is to have the U.S. Senate pass a stimulus bill that affects every state around this country prior to his swearing in, which will be the 20th of January. So it will be fast work. I would encourage the community here, if you have not done it yet, uh, and I'm sure the delegation office will love what I'm about to say, and that is if you have not prepared a community list of issues that you think are important for a stimulus bill to incorporate, you should do that now. Uh, that is important. I know we have done it from an Anchorage perspective. I'm now gathering them with my other hat on as Senator-elect because they're looking for projects that will be available to be put on the street in, in less than two years that will create jobs and also create long-term economic stability. So. Being here today at your lunch is a great timing for me to be very frank with you because I'll probably get some ideas on some of the projects you're working on, but it will be important. Those stimulus bills will be literally billions of dollars and we will be part of that equation. And those will be projects, obviously I'm very interested to hear what Southeast has to put on the table, but I know um, energy intertie system is a big piece of the equation, but I'd be anxious to hear your projects. Go to our website. Today will be a chance for me to hear your economic development plans and some of the things you're concerned about. But thank you. I didn't mean to kind of bud, barge into your meeting, but I appreciate just a few minutes to say uh, a few words. But thank you. Thank you to Juno. Thank you to Southeast for the support that they showed during my campaign. Uh, you can rest assured you will see me more than you probably want to. Um, and if the weather does what it does, you may have me overnight. You never, <laughs> never know. And I might be taking up the Baranoff uh, <laughs> discount rate, <laughs> you know, so, but again, thank you very much. Please uh, do contact us on a regular basis. Thank you.